truth. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Okay? And the scripture says, for so what if some did not believe, man? Okay? That word incredulity means unbelief. All right? And so what you just don't believe that, that America's going down, man? Who gives a damn? Okay? That don't mean the words of the Lord is going to know, boy. Nah, they're going to accomplish, man. All right? The prophecies are going to be accomplished. They're going to be fulfilled. We got more prophecies to come, man. All right? Again, it's the end of the world. Verse 3, second Ages 15 and 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, because you people are unfaithful, man. Okay? You're faithful to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Okay? Hell, y'all are faithful to yourselves. You know? You don't believe anything, man. You got atheists out here, man. You got you got uh, uh, astrologers out here. You know, Zodiac works for some things of that nature. Okay? Verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world and the sword. So watch it. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? Hey, the scripture, hey, the scripture say, the sins of Babylon have reached unto the heavens. Okay? Because anything that's being done in this kingdom, big, small, hidden in plain sight, all right, it's being recorded, man. It's being jotted down. It's being taken back up to the Creator. So the Lord has an ample amount of reason to destroy this damn place, man. All right? <laughs> second Edges, second Edges 15 and 6, it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yes, we the souls of the just complaining continually, uh, continually, man, because we want to get the hell out of here. Okay? This place is totally wicked. All right? It's, it's written with destruction, man. And it's going to get smitten with calamity and more destruction. Destruction upon destruction, man. All right? Verse 9. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, going into, hey, the 144,000 prophets, man. And the one-third. All right, we're complaining continuous, continuously because we hate this place, man. All right? Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, this is Egypt, man. This is spiritually Egypt. Okay? The word Egypt means bondage. This is the land of bondage. Reincarnated into America. All right? Verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt, America, with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it, okay? Thermal nuclear destruction. 200 million missiles is going to eat this place alive, man. Okay? So as soon as y'all start thinking everything is going good, everything is going great, then boom, man. This place is going to get hit with 200 million missiles. Which I don't believe, man. 
Okay? Verse 13. Second Ezra 15 and 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, because what? A, a lot of y'all, again, are still thinking America is, is going to be able to thrive, man. All right, so what you gonna, you're going to be starting your families up. You're going to be you're going to be you might buy a piece of land and start growing your crop, okay? And start doing all these things, but what your seed shall fail, man. All your works are going to fail, mainly going to each other so-called white man. All right, because this damn government wants to implement this new world order, but it's not going to pass, okay? This new world order is not going to happen. You know, the Lord is blocking all of that out. Okay? Verse 14, it says, Second Ezra 15 to 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, woe means death and destruction. But the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and sword in their hand. Okay? And again, that's, that's going on right now and it's only going to get worse as the days go on, man. Okay? For the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. Okay? You could you could put that with Jacob and Esau. Alright? The so-called black man versus the so-called white man. You could put that with uh, 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 Esau and Esau. Esau and the other nation. Alright? One people shall stand up to fight, to fight against another, man. All right? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay? Because what? It's going to be it's going to be all it's going to be all hell out here, man. Hell or high water. All right? I'm talking about all hell is going to break loose in this place, man. There's going to be a total anarchy. Okay? Despite what you people think, America is going to turn into a lawless society, man. Y'all see what the hell is going on, man? All right? Ain't nothing but wars and rumors of wars breaking out in this place, man. Y'all got to inquire about how to save yourselves if you don't want to get caught up in the death and destruction which is to come, okay? This is the wrath that's gonna be at the end, you know? Hey, that's right, that's right. Hey, you, you familiar with the Israelites? Come here, come talk to me, come talk to me, come talk to me. Oh, you, oh, okay, all right, Shalom, sis, Shalom, Shalom, all right? You know? Hey, now is the time, man. Now is the time to get right. Now is the time to repent. You know, the end of this age is, is near, man. It's here. All right, we at the threshold. We at the door. All right, we at the door of salvation. Okay, and for the rest of you, 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 you city dwellers, all right, you world lovers, y'all at the door of your destruction, man. Okay? This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15. Verse 17, it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, man, because what? Everything's going to be blocked off. Okay? They're going to they're gonna be barricades all over the place, man. You're going to be trying to hop on your, your nearest interstate. You're going to be trying to hop on your, your nearest, uh, go to the nearest airport and fly out of here. You won't be able to, man. Okay? Because what? It's going to be FEMA camps all over this damn place, man. Starting with these Walmarts, you know? America is going to be a big-ass concentration camp for the whole world, man, and for you that dwell therein. All right? Hell, some brothers are going to have to get caught up in the FEMA camps, man. Some brothers are going to have to become martyrs, but it's true. But it's all through the Spirit, okay? But y'all are gonna be desiring to, 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 to get away from this place or to hop on your nearest airplane 
all right, to, to drive on your nearest interstate or, or roadway, okay? And you're going to be trying to get away from it, but you won't be able to, all right? Verse 18, it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay? This is, <laughs> for because of their pride, okay, which is one of the biggest issues with you damn people, man. You're too damn proud. All right, you're too arrogant. You know? You are way too damn arrogant. You won't humble down. Hey, don't the Judah scriptures not say pride goes before destruction and the Holy Spirit before fall? All right? Which a lot of y'all love to quote, but you don't really understand what that means, man. Okay? Being hard-headed, being dead, being thick-headed, being willingly ignorant is a form of pride. All right? The most I hate pride people, man. The Lord don't deal with the pride. The Lord deals with the humble, the lowly, and the meek, man. The contrite of spirit. Okay? But the scriptures say what? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 9. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. Alright, again, man. Your best friend, your next door neighbor. He gonna kick your damn door down. All right, taking all your food, all your resources. Because what is going to be, a, it's going to be a lack of bread, man. Okay? It's going to be a lack of food, a lack of resources. Because what? The next man got to eat. So if you got all the food in your house, I'm telling you, somebody going to come knocking at your door, man. All right? Verse 19, 2nd Exodus 15 and 